This is a story. About my mother. My angel. My friend. My special girl. My trusted advisor. And most importantly, are you going around the police? Come in, please come in. Eh. Y'all should know me better than that. I don't do sappy. If you want to see me do a fun interview with my mom, keep watching. So we headed to the park on a nice, sunny, gorgeous afternoon in Nassau for a fun chat. My 12-year-old niece Tatiana tagged along for jokes, and of course she served as our camerawoman. Ha ha ha. So if the footage is shaky, blame Tati. I'm here with a special guest. Last week, or a few weeks ago, I should say, if you watched my channel, you would have seen my interview with my brother Rashad. And if you haven't, please go click this uh, link right up here. But today I am here with a beautiful guest, my beautiful, beautiful mother. Um, I decided I needed to interview her because if I'm gonna come all the way to the Bahamas, y'all need to know who, who birthed me, who brought me here on the planet. And it's this woman right here on my right. What you say, mommy? Hey, Rogan. Now, here's something y'all should know. She's a horrible actress, okay? And she is so fake when it comes to doing these things. I tell her, relax. So she's like, hi, how are you? Relax. You need to put my foot on you to relax. We get your heart full of <laughs> We're outdoors, so it's gonna be a little noisy because we're in a park area again. I love the natural light and I love the atmosphere, and it's beautiful here, so that's why we're outside. So let's see. So how you feeling? I feel great. So first things first, people need to know what your name is, right? Mm -hmm. You have a very unique name. Yeah. And it's a name that you weren't always comfortable with. So first of all, tell tell my audience what's your name. My name is Illinois, better known as Illy. Illy. My family call me Noy. So Illinois, that's a very unique name. I've always loved your name. Now that name was so cute and funny. It was nice and unusual, but I was ashamed of my name at that time. People couldn't even call my name properly, so oh, I, Lord. I never tell them. I say that, if you can't say Illinois, just say Illy. One time, this guy in the class, he, te he teased me, and I say, stop. Lionel, stop. Lionel she put all the man name out there on the street. Lionel? Lionel, if you hear this, you know this is true. And Lionel, um, tell me that again, and I take up my chair and I walk him across his head. <laughs> This one was gangster from Crippin back in the day. So, obviously this is my YouTube channel. So, you gotta talk a little bit about your favorite child. Am I your favorite child? Um, I can't tell you that because when this is played, what? I wouldn't have any other children. <laughs> they're, they're they're so new. Yeah, so you get mad. You know how I feel about you, so you know who you I don't are. know how you, how you feel about me, I need to hear it. And the audience needs to hear it. But you, what you, what you, what you love about your your favorite daughter? Well, she's not my favorite daughter, but she's a very good daughter. I love that she's so intelligent. She is smart. She um, and she get on my nerves sometimes because we probably buck head because both of us are like. I say no wonder we buck head all the time. We always bucking heads. But I always tell people too that I mean I know that. And I've said this a million times, I know ain't no one on the planet love me the way you love me because you'll do anything. Even like her, all of her children are grown now, we're all adults, but she'll still, she's still in that mummy mode and she'll, she'll do whatever it takes to protect her children, defend her children, take care of them. If you see me get sick, like I got sick on this trip and she made sure, you know, I'm, I'm 
eating well and you know just making sure to check in with me like that's just hard some parents aren't even like that some parents don't care if you're sick they don't care if you're hurting they don't care anything my mother's not like that so no matter how much we buck heads i know that this woman loves me unconditionally and she shows it every single day even though she's give us tough love now she's 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 raggy as hard now i know y'all don't know what raggy mean but raggy means she's carry us through the ropes hard and this year but she i know she loves us very much and i appreciate that about you well thank you Roga, for being so honest and um i just hope that other parents will take this as an example that even though you love your children you're not supposed to spoil them you yeah you didn't spoil us i don't spoil y'all because um if i had nothing i ain't give you nothing <laughs> and, and you say, and I ain't even for and it. I ain't even nothing. And I ain't even for you. Nothing. <laughs> All right, yeah. So you used to be like, you ain't even for us. No. And don't and don't think and cost me to come around no no, no court because I ain't coming around no court. Come no. I ain't coming to no jail to bail you out. Nothing. I've no. never had any reason to go around the police station or the school. Nobody in the school ever called me about my kids. Well, well, so well, good. well. There was a time now when I, when I stole the fifty dollars out of your purse. In the fifth grade, I don't remember that. You don't remember that? No. You don't remember me coming home with my sister, raise up my skirt, and and and, and beat me in the front of the class? You were a thief. I didn't know that. I, said, I think you thought it was a dollar. So no, I know it's fifty dollars. No, it's fifty. Yeah. So you was always smart. <laughs> so what you was gonna do with that? I bought super different for my friends. Oh my god. A burger and, and fries, and, and you get caught. Mm -hmm. Good. And you you didn't care that sister beat me. I didn't care because she you was wrong. And she embarrassed you. She raised up my skirt, showed my fancy in the class, what you And mean? I bet you never do it again. No, but I'm the boy. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go into depth with all that she's accomplished. But she is very accomplished. She's done extremely well, especially as a single parent. Like, that has always been... I think you've done better as a single parent than some people did when they had the husband and wife inside the house. You know what I mean? Like, and that to me, I, I see what you for, you know? I'm happy that I had four incredible children and they always um, listen to me. They believe that for me, I have it and she doesn't want to give it to me. No, that and ain't I me. Say, that, okay, that, no, that ain't me. That ain't me. I don't have it. We have just enough for y'all to go to a private school, get a good education, wear the best shoes. Not the clothes, but the shoes because I want your foot to be nice. <laughs> you want your foot to You need to go get your eyes tested. Dentist. And keep your dental work up, up beat. It, because Rogan is a freak when it comes to smell. It gotta be, it gotta be, your breath have to be fresh, your body gotta be clean. <laughs> I, okay, I wear it like that, but it's not a bad thing though. Like, who wanna be sitting with somebody for a frowsy breath? Then you try to hurry, get the conversation going, over. and you try to move over, and you try to jingle and jingle and say, Yeah, girl, I have to go right now. You know, I have somebody on here, phone ring, somebody call me. I got just like the conversation now. Yeah, so you can get away from that. And so, I mean, what do you want to say to these people out in YouTube land? Anything you want to say um, about your loving daughter? Well, I want you to continue following Rogan because Rogan was always a child at the age of three, four, always had her thing together. that she want to go to Hollywood. She want to be a movie star. So this might be her roadmap to being a movie star. Mm -hmm. And I want you to support her. <laughs> anyway, we'll wrap this up. This was a really good conversation. I'm glad that we had the chance to chat. But thank you so much, Mommy, for yeah. being here. We really appreciate home. you. Yeah. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. New videos every Wednesday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You can follow me on Instagram at thisbehemingal and on my blog at www.thisbehemingal.com, Twitter at thisbehemingal with the D, and on Facebook I'm at thisbehemingal. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.